Morning folks, it is Tuesday the 4th of August. We're going to read together from Psalm 38 this morning. Let's hear what it has to say. O oh Lord, don't rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your rage. Your arrows have struck deep and your blows are crushing me. Because of your anger, my whole body is sick. My health is broken because of my sins. My guilt overwhelms me. It is a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and stink because of my foolish sins. I am bound over and racked with pain. All day long I walk around filled with grief. A raging fever burns within me and my health is broken. I am exhausted and completely crushed. My groans come from an anguished heart. You know what I long for, Lord. You hear my every sigh. My heart beats wildly. My strength fails. I am going blind. My loved ones and friends stay away, fearing my disease. Even my own friends stand at a distance. Meanwhile, my enemies lay traps to kill me. Those who wish to harm me plan to ruin me. All day long they plan their treachery. But I am deaf to all their threats. I am silent before them as one who cannot speak. I chose to hear nothing and to make no reply. For I am waiting for you, O Lord. You must answer me, O Lord, my God. I pray, don't let my enemies gloat over me or rejoice at my downfall. I'm on the verge of collapse, facing constant pain, but I confess my sins. I am deeply sorry for what I have done. I have many aggressive enemies. They hate me without reason. They repay me evil for good. They oppose me for pursuing good. Do not abandon me, O Lord. Do not stand at a distance, my God. Come quickly to help me, O my Saviour. Amen. It really is a psalm of crying out. Um, the psalmist is aware of how wrong he is in sin, of how guilty he is of doing things which he shouldn't do. And he feels that that's just bringing disaster upon disaster to him as he thinks about his enemies and how his enemies plot against him. But look at those last two verses. Do not abandon me, O Lord. Do not stand at a distance, my God. Come quickly and help me, O my Saviour. Again, there's that realisation that God doesn't abandon us, that he never leaves us. The reason that we seem distance from God at times is because of what we do, not because of what God does. It's because of our sin and our actions. We drive that wedge in there. It's not God. God's always holding on to us, always there for us. It's just how in tune we are with him. Do we want to follow him? Do we want to do what he has called us to do? Or do we want to fight against him and go our own way? The psalmist has obviously done that. He has gone his own way and he has found that it's not a good way. And he wants to come back to the Lord's way again. Let's pray today that we follow God's way, that we follow his path and not our own, that we ask him to show us that path, that we can walk it. Just the Psalm 119 verse 105 says, your word is a light to my feet and a lamp to light my path. Let's pray that God lights the path for us. So let's pray. Father, again today, thank you that you're always listening and that you always hear us. Lord, forgive us whenever we go our own way. Forgive us whenever we drive a wedge between us. It's not you, Father, it is us. Help us always to say sorry for the things that we've done wrong. To come back to you again and to take away that barrier. Take away that obstacle. And to let you fully in and fully guide us. Lord, please today, show us the path that you want us to walk. And give us the strength to do so. Father, thank you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks. See you again tomorrow. Bye.